Hi right, guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the shape of a hyperbolic of revolution. So I just made this little model here using kitchen sponges and some skewers. And the main thing I want to get you guys to get out of this video is basically just to be able to visualize the actual physical object while also understanding some of the key principles explained in the 3D object rather than just look, looking at the 2D lines in a shape. So there's a few key things about a hyperbola revolution. So as you can see at the minute, we have a cylinder. So a circle, a circle, joined together. Okay, so to create this hyperbola of revolution, I'm just gonna simply twist this top circle while twisting the bottom circle. So as you can see, a 3D shape is formed here, like this, and it's a straight curved surface. And it also works if I rotate it the other way. Like that. Okay. So, now that we've visualized it, there's just a few key principles about this hyperbola of revolution. So, these skewers represent straight line elements. Okay. And when these straight line elements are rotated, they stay straight, but they also say stay parallel to each other, moving around a fixed axis in the middle. Okay, so you must be wondering where this fixed axis goes. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little demonstration just to show you by getting another skewer. And what I'm going to do with this skewer now is place it through the center of my circle on the top and through the center of the circle at the bottom. So I'll just show you a plan view of the hyperboloid now, of revolution. So, these elements, as you can see, are all around the circumference of the circle. While this middle skewer in the middle is the axis. So, just to show the principle again, is basically these straight line elements are being rotated around a fixed axis at a fixed distance, while also all staying parallel to each other. So as you can see, the more I twist it around the axis, the smaller the throat circle becomes. And the opposite, when the more I twist it away, the bigger the throat circle comes. They're both hyperbolic revolutions, because as you can see, the lines stay parallel there. But if I twist it that bit more and make the throat circle smaller, it also stays parallel. And just one more key principle, which I forgot to mention is all of these elements on the edge of the circle are all the same distance from this axis just being rotated around it. So imagine there was just no other skewers, this is the only skewer left, and imagine that just twisting around this fixed axis with a line that's perpendicular to it, which creates this sort of hyperboloid of revolution shape.